Hi, I'm Barry. This is Mega C Gaming, and this is another unboxing. So, a while ago, I did the uh, Fire Team Zero uh, unboxing and an update and stuff like that, and I, I painted all the miniatures that I had, which was hundreds of them, thousands of them, I tell you, and I painted them all. Um, uh, but I didn't at that time have the stretch goals they 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 packed it up and then they thought they sent it but the uh, shipping company allegedly had been telling lies and saying that they sent stuff when they hadn't and so consequently I didn't get my stretch goals box um, until yesterday and there it is so I got my stretch goals but I don't even know what's in there I'm a little bit excited so let's have a look Got the old supervisor supervising me, supervising me. Right. Okay, so what is in the stretch goals box? Let's find out. There's nothing written on there, but it does say stretch goals. Um, not sure if I've had a, a stretch goals box like this before that actually says stretch goals on the front. But then again, I don't do so many Kickstarters. Uh, I do more than I should, <laughs> as anyone else, but I don't. I'm not one of these people that, that uh, just does one after the other. And quite frankly, I'm a bit sick of receiving stuff like years after the fact when I'm already over it. You know what I mean? Uh, however, the Wasteman Kickstarter, Gorgasm Arena. Yeah, I had to do that one. Anyway, stretch goals box. Right, there's, it's not so heavy. Oh, it looks like miniatures. Let's have a look. Oh, and cards. Right, nothing else in the box. So there's no extra rules pertaining to this. Right. Lots of stuff. Uh, escalation pack. Right. V, v for victory. Hero deck upgrades. Fighting zeros. Hero deck upgrades. Lonely guns. Hero deck upgrades. Sleepless in shadows. Monster twists. Spawn of the infernal. Monster twists. Right. It's not wrapped in plastic. I'm just going to... So we've got the, a, a more twist deck. Yeah, they go on the uh, darkness tracker or whatever it's called. Oh, I see. These are the hero cards. Uh, hero deck. So we've got fleshette rounds, which is four bullets and it's an attack. And then we've got a reaction, which is play when an ally is moving to increase their speed by one. Right. Right, and we've got a whole bunch of monsters. we got, oh, there's a dog there. Is that a friendly dog? It might be. Might not be. There's only one of them. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 here we go. This guy, Hero. Right, I'm just going to see if I can find his card. Where did I put the cards? There it is. Right, I'm going to open this deck. It should have an opener. There we are. Uh, yeah, I, I can't not look at him. See what he is. Because an extra hero or an extra... Uh, looks like he's a support... Right, these are all hero stuff. There we go. Right, right at the top. So we've got this one. This gentleman here, folklorist, Minsk, Russian gentleman. So he's got a Russian hat. He's carrying a book with a pentagram on it, a glowing pentagram. Not sure if I'll be able to do the glowing without an airbrush. Um, He's a supernaturalist. Once per round, change a monster activation die result to blank. That's cool. Because when you 
the monster gets like one move or something and then you roll the die and see what else he can do like an extra attack or an extra move or whatever all right that's cool and then we've got oh hercules herc yeah psychic specialist kinetic amplifier attacks on a minion or elite may bypass one resistance of any type all right So we got two, two extra dudes. Uh, these are just support though, they're not heroes. Any other heroes in here? No, All right, okay. So let's have a look at uh, what these things are. We got Thorn Skull, which I'm gonna guess would be this one made of wood those ones are pretty easy to paint uh, just because wood marrow fetch <clears throat> these things no these things marrow fetch made of bones and skulls and stuff antlers maggot hound these ones so dogs with the old uh, Litentically uh, Malignant Vermin Malignant Vermin Right uh, Oh, there we go That's it, oh that's pretty cool It's a Pile of Skulls With rats on it And one or two of the rats have Extra limbs sticking out of them Like spidery type thing utterly horrifying and then we got possibly these guys I think I mixed these two up but yeah the splinter fiend exhumed fetch so that is a mass of bodies possibly this one looks like it exhumed fetch it's just made of bits of bodies all, all kind of tied up together with a bit of twine lunger this one it's got weeds and stuff growing out of him mangled uh, this one yeah mangled again he used to be a guy, he's got something growing out of his face. Uh, corrupted soldier. Uh, it's a thing when they're not painted, you can't really. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Corrupted soldier. And as you can see, the human form is here there's the head and there's the legs, and then it's become something horrific I, there's a similar model that i painted uh, and that's it right so these are cool i'm i'm very happy that uh, we got extra extra these extra good guys so i'll put those back in the box so wicked wicked i'll get those painted up um sometime in the future i do have kill team to do that's what i'm doing now i'm doing kill team everything else is just on the back burner um and i've got all the terrain for kill team anyway you know you don't care about that you don't care about that you just don't care so we'll get these puppies painted up get on the table i can play the i can play the core box anyway and we'll, we'll get some games of uh, kill team not kill team Fireteam Zero, get some games of Fireteam Zero on the table, get the, the basic scenarios, because I, I, I think it's, from what I remember, very hard, it, it's uh, very tactical, pretty hard, uh, again, as well as uh, being lucky with the roll of the dice and stuff, but yeah, um, it, it's kind of like Dark Souls, you will die, you will die, anyway, like, subscribe, comment below, thank you very much.